What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com. Sorry, I haven't been recording videos the last few days. I've got my kids on spring break, so it's tough around the house to get any moments of quiet here. And I'm sorry if there's a little bit of background noise. Figured I should at least release something so you don't think I'm dead or something. Our campaign is still going on for Dave's Volt. This is our graphic novel. It's a fantasy novel, that, or graphic novel rather, uh, in the vein of Conan the Barbarian, like you used to see, or Prince Valiant, something like that. The classics that you used to love and enjoy. If you are new to the channel, please check it out. Uh, if you have not backed it, also do the same. And thank you to everybody who has uh, supported this huge campaign already. We are crushing it, and I'm stoked. Um, I'm really pleased with how this is going and looking forward to bringing this book to you. We're almost done. Just had a couple uh, touch-up items to do and, of course, get the stretch goals that we hit in the campaign completed. And we'll be able to get this rolling out to backers very soon. All right. Um, I started reading this last weekend. This is called like the Star Trek Litverse. Uh, and here's actually a big spreadsheet of it. I've put it up on the channel before. Uh, and this is something that I've been interested in a while, ever since really Deep Space Nine came off the air. I read Star Trek books as a kid, and then I kind of moved on to different science fiction topics, uh, and then kind of forgot about this, but it, they ended up building this pretty robust extended universe, much like Star Wars did, uh, and it really continued on the Trek story very well. I'm really only interested in a couple spots. I mean, that you've got everything here from, from Star Trek The Next Generation to, uh, the original series to Voyager, and they've got an Enterprise B series. This Captain's Daughter's book, very good. I reviewed that recently. New Frontier is one done by Peter David. You might recognize him if you're a comic person. And uh, he just made his own starship. So right now, uh, I'm focused on Deep Space Nine, just kind of interested in this. And right in here, it starts out with this, like, Cardassian War thing, which takes place towards the end of the uh, series there uh, with the Dominion. And uh, it wraps that up, and then there's a couple different supporting stories right here, as mentioned, and then it goes into uh, a relaunch series that takes place after the show ends. Now, I'm very excited for that. Uh, I've read these Avatar and uh, Avatar books 1 and 2, Rising Sun and Unity. It, there's some crossover series that also go on. I mean, it's kind of a cluster that you got to really read a lot of books for, but they're also very fast, easy-to-read books. So that works out pretty well. So I've been looking into this, of course, because I'm interested in this and, and really ready to go on this whole deal. But on the other end of things, I noticed that they're going to be shutting this down. Uh, this is uh, from Reddit. And I've also heard this from other sources that they're really only going to be doing a couple more books here. They're wrapping it up and they're uh, now changing things to this new continuity that's being done from Picard and Lower Decks and the shows that CBS All Access or Paramount All Access, whatever they want to call it these days, uh, are... Uh, doing. And so this whole continuity that is robust and done, and from what I've heard, very well done, much like the extended universe, is going to just get shelved and become legends and destroyed, uh, much like Disney did with their extended universe. It's really weird. I noticed, like, as goes Star Wars, goes Star Trek, and that's really how it is going today. It's weird, because Star Trek came first. Star Trek has its own thing. It's very different. But ever since, like, you know, the late 90s, Star Trek seems to be on a trajectory where they just want to copy Star Wars rather than uh, just be their own sort of thing. If you noticed, uh, Star Trek really amped up the action and, and dialed down the scientific aspects of it. This happened in the early 2000s. After that, uh, they decided to go with a prequel, just like Star Wars did prequel films. After that, they decided to kind of build their novel verse for an extended universe, just like Star Wars had their novel verse for an extended universe. After that, there was this like continuity error in the future that really doesn't match up and doesn't feel like uh, it's right uh, with the universe. Star Wars did this with their new trilogy. Guess what? Star Trek is doing this with Picard. It just does not make sense in terms of a Star Trek universe. And so they're, uh, of course, following the same tack here and just erasing all these books uh, that are uh, fairly interesting from my understanding. So I'm going to be going through them. I just went through and finished uh, the first... DS9 book on this list here, A Stitch in Time, uh, which is a Garrick story. It's very hard to find this book. You can get it on ebook, but if you want a physical copy, uh, they're near impossible to find. They did not print enough of these, uh, and it was very good. So I, I have high hopes for this, and I hope it's going to go well with all this in the future. All right, everybody, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me, let me know what you think about this. I'm kind of sad that they're canceling it, but I guess I get it, and I guess not that many people care. 
Uh, it's not really news. I just found out about it myself. Uh, so it's very interesting stuff. All right. We will talk to you guys soon.